Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new 2023 Numar Ventana 4369. I'm going to have my cameraman pan around to see um, the floor plan. And while we do that, we're going to talk a little bit about the features of this coach. This is built on a Spartan chassis with 400 horsepower Cummins engine. We have the Remy decor, the Remy graphics, and Newport glazed maple with high gloss optioned in here. We also um, special ordered recliners. You could have a sofa in place of these, but I really like the recliners for a couple of reasons. One, they don't take up quite as much space as the theater seating does, but also these can be pulled out and moved around the coach or out of the coach if you don't care for them and need extra space for dog kennels or you have a special chair from home that you'd like to pop in. Um, and they're really comfortable as is, but if you don't need them, they also just pull right out without any damage to the floor. So great feature there. We also have a really nice table in the middle of the two with a nice pull out for cup holders. Great place to watch a movie at night. And a little bit of storage underneath for all the remote controls you're gonna need. <laughs> Just kidding. On the opposite side of where I'm sitting, we have what's called a televator. That's a TV that's on a lift and it's powered. I have it lifted right now. And just so you know, this can be up while you're driving. So if you have passengers back here that wanted to enjoy some TV time, that can be up. Or if you just want it out of the way and want that beautiful sunlight streaming in, you have the option of doing that as well. Um, on our windows, I wanted to point out that we do have MCD roller shades and these are on every window here. So we have a day shade and a night shade and I'll show you what those look like. This is your day shade and that's going to just help privacy wise when you're in a park or something like that or you just want less light coming in. And then of course you have the full darkening for when it's nighttime. And then those just pull right up. I like the MCD shades because they don't make a lot of noise when you're going down the road. That's the most noise you're going to hear from those and I'm really banging them pretty good there. So much less than the blinds of olden days that we used to have. Um, also, the windows here um, are tilt out windows and I'm gonna try to get this to open for you. It's real cold here, so there we go. So the thing that's great about these is that one, you can get ventilation, of course, on either side of the coach. And some coaches are being built now with no openable windows or hardly any. Um, this is great because if it's raining or snowing, you can still have it open. So um, it's gonna keep that from coming inside. We also have LED lights throughout the coach. Um, here is your info or entertainment system, rather. And this is where you're gonna hook up your um, DVD player, your Dish or Direct TV box, or whatever you have going on. That's just that what that space is for. And a little bit of storage up here. This sofa here is what's called a tri-fold sofa. So that means that the bottom pulls out, the top folds down, and you've got a bed, boom, just like that. Very easy to use. It's not like a jackknife where you have to sleep this way and be five foot tall to fit on it. This actually is gonna be a comfortable sofa for two adults, or sleeper rather. Um, moving into the kitchen area, Numar does a great job with their solid surface countertops. They hand cut each of these for each coach. They don't just let them sit around in the factory. Um, so this was made specifically for this coach to order. Obviously we have a pull out here for a little bit more workspace or prep station. Um, and then we've got full extension drawers. Another one right here. And this one's a little shallower because we have a cooktop up top, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then this coach we did option in with a dishwasher. So if you think you might not ever care about a dishwasher or never need one, this is a really great place for deeper storage. So even I would say an Instapot or um, a pasta um, pot, that would be a great space for that. 
It's also great for resale if you're thinking, oh, I just don't want it in there. You know, it's storage and great for resale. So if the coach is built with it, I feel like just try it and see if you like it. Um, up here, a little bit more storage and you'll notice how sturdy these hinges are here. Really well built. Newmart does a great job with all of their quality. They also line these with a, I'm going to call it a carpet, even though it's not really carpet, but it's nice and fuzzy and it's going to help with vibration and noise. Also with your stuff moving around, so it's not going to break. So love that they do that extra step. Spices, I suppose. <laughs> not a very deep one, but still you got to use every little bit you've got in these things, I suppose. <clears throat> So if you don't know about the Newmark cooktop, this is one of my favorite things they do, and I don't know of any other manufacturer that does this. Um, other manufacturers do have all electric coaches with induction cooktops, but normally the, the cooktop doesn't do what the Newmar does. And what that is, is it lifts right out. So the benefit of that is that one, it's covered while it's in here. So um, if you were to drop something, you would have your covers so it wouldn't break this, because this is glass. Um, the other benefit is that you can take this outside and cook. So you can have kind of a, uh, I guess, a campsite or tailgating thing outside um, where you can cook maybe some things that are stinkier or more smoke causing, um, like bacon. Um, I would have my husband take this outside and make the bacon. Um, but then you, of course, can just put it right back in, plug it in here, and it just plugs into a 110. Um, outlet and there are some of those in the basement area on the opposite side. That's just a little um, Extra manufacturing stuff. It's nothing gross, but um, cutting boards. So that's what we've got on the opposite side here So very very functional and smart use of space here um, This is your whirlpool Convection microwave so you can bake in here And more storage up here with a really nice pullout. For those of us who have a harder time reaching those far back areas, this really makes a difference. Right above us is an exhaust fan. So that's gonna help suck out any steam or smoke that you're creating while you're cooking. Um, Numar does a great job of covering that up as well. So the whole goal of a Newmar coach is to be very high quality, but also to look more residential. So they do little finishes like this so that you don't have a plastic fan on the ceiling. So it looks a lot more high end. And this just pops off and removes very easily if you needed to service your fan or access it for any reason, clean it out, etc. But you'll also notice as we go through the coach that you're not seeing the air conditioning vents. Um, the air conditioning vents are also covered with a beautiful ceiling adornment here. And they do make that also so you can access uh, the filters and things like that um, and clean them all out. So beautiful, but very functional as well. A um, little bit more storage here. This is another place. I think I would fill this with chopsticks and pens at my house. <laughs> It's a great spice area, actually, but little place for your sponges, etc. And then more room down here. And then we do have a double sided stainless steel sink. Remove those covers for you so you can see that. And of course, they included a nice little sprayer for you. We also did option in the kitchen window. I think that's such a great thing to have the option of doing um, one for the air like I was showing you before, but also it just gives the coach so much more brightness. It's amazing what a difference it makes just to have that one window in here. On the opposite side, I will show you the booth seating area. And this one was optioned in, pretty unusual on a Numar actually, but it was optioned in so that this can be another sleeping area. So how that works, there's a lock lever under here, and then you just push down on this, and it goes under these cushions, you lift them a little bit, and then there's another pad which is held in the back closet. But that's pretty much how that works. It's very simple to use. And then when you're done, you just pull it right back up and lock it back into place. So I'm gonna lock that so it doesn't fall on anybody. And then 
voila, you're done basically. Um, under here, we do have some more storage. So those come out quite, quite a ways as well, but a great place to keep maybe extra bottles of water, your board games, reading materials, or some more pots and pans. These would even fit your baking sheets that you're gonna put in that convection microwave. We do have a central vacuum unit in here, and that works two ways. One is that we have a kick plate right here. So if you had a sweeper or a broom, you could just sweep it right there and then kick that up and it sucks it all away really quickly. Or of course you can plug in the more traditional way with a hose there. And those are all, those pieces are all included. Then over here we have your Whirlpool refrigerator freezer. with a filter for the water. You do have water in the door and then the ice is down here in the freezer compartment, but a good amount of space in here. And then we have this really nice pantry. This is gonna make a world of difference for whoever buys this coach. So these lock, that's why I pushed it in there. So they're not gonna come out flying when you're driving or taking a tight turn. Um, but these are adjustable so you can move the shelves to different heights um, but they do come out full extension and then lock into place really a nice feature so this coach the 4369 does have a half bathroom and that's what this is here really really handy for if you have guests also for while you are in travel mode all of your slides are in it's going to be a lot harder to get to your rear bathroom so we do have a half bath here there is some storage in here as well and another exhaust fan i know couples that um, will designate this as the men's getting ready area and the women can have the back bathroom for the getting ready area. Um, you will see though, as we get to the back bathroom, it is huge, plenty of room for two people. Um, but so this is an extra nicety. Another great thing that Numar just started doing um, is this control panel in the middle of the coach. So here I'm gonna go to home and you'll see we can check all of our levels. So our batteries, how are they doing? How much fresh water do I have? gray, black. Um, we can also turn all of our lights on or off here, TV lift up and down. This is another thing that was added this year, the floor heat. So that was not available in a Ventana before, and now it is, which I am so excited about. That was actually a deciding factor for a lot of people to go to the next level up, which is the Dutch Star, um, was that they didn't offer floor heat in the Ventana. Now we've got floor heat and it's in three zones. You can do high, medium, and low, front, mid, and back. I think that's so great when first thing in the morning you're getting up and you don't want to step on that cold bathroom floor, that's going to change that for you. Uh, we also have your HVAC system here, three zones as well um, for um, AC and heat and your heat pumps as well, which I can show you that there. So you can do AC, auto, heat pump which is your air conditioners providing heat and then you can actually turn your furnace on now the furnace in this coach is an oasis system that's your hydronic heating system as well as your heater so the furnace feels more like the old school um, radiator furnaces that they had um, a moist heat which is great because that's going to help your cabinets especially here in Colorado to stay more moist your skin to stay more moist in the winter time um, but that hydronic heating system makes a world of difference too in how long of a shower you can take um, it's as much hot water as you have water so if you're hooked into water you're going to be able to take a really long shower so um, anyway, this also can be attached to your phone or your um, devices. So we've got Bluetooth pairing and lights here as well. So 
I know this seems a little complicated, but when you purchase from TransWest, you have, um, we give you a very thorough walkthrough. And we also have a gentleman that you can call on the phone um, to ask questions if you forget any of the things. He can help you troubleshoot, um, et cetera. So one of the things that we do here, which I think is just above and beyond, and uh, we just really wanna take care of you after the sale, not just get you out the door with your money. So um, let's go into the master bedroom area. We do have a king size bed. Um, this is the standard pillow top mattress. A lot of um, new Mars people will option in the sleep number, and that's just a matter of personal preference. Um, there is quite a bit of storage under this bed. So that goes all the way back to the head of the bed, even though you can't, it's partly blocked, but good amount of space there. And it's on these shocks, so it makes it a lot easier to get up and down. We also have um, 110s and USB ports on either side of the bed in an easily accessible place and a little bit of storage down there. Um, up here, I think this is pretty important to point out. We of course have storage up here, but a lot of our customers use sleep apnea machines. So we do have two 110s back there and there's no dividers in here. So this goes all the way through to the other side. But the point is if you had a sleep apnea machine, you can plug it in up here and then we actually have a portal on both sides so that you can put your hoses through here and just take up less space on the bedside tables. Um, we also have <clears throat> at the head of the bed, we have your security lights for outside, a switch for that. We do have um, your accent lights switch here, your right hand and left hand reading lights, your courtesy lights, which are basically the lights along the floor. So night lights essentially for um, when you need to get up and go to the bathroom or your dog gets nervous when it's too dark. Um, you can leave those courtesy lights on at light at night, excuse me. But that button is right there for you. You can also turn these to high low and you can turn this blue light that's on the actual um, panel totally off if that bothers you as well. So those switches are all right there. And then of course we have your Samsung uh, smart TV directly across so you can watch TV in bed. Really great shirt wardrobes on either side here. And they do both have lights. And then a really great amount of dresser space here. If you can see how far that goes down, it's pretty deep. And then the ones on the other side are even bigger. And they come out all the way so that you can actually use them. Sometimes I see motorhomes and it's like, they just built it so that you would see it on the, on the lot and say, oh, there's lots of space, but the usability of it is not usable so that's really frustrating to me like if they make it look good but it's not functional it's frustrating once you're off the lot and you're trying to actually live in the thing so another quick quick thing i wanted to say they did on this ventana this really pretty um ornamentation on the wall here but when i saw this for at first i thought how are you going to clean that you're going to get a q-tip out and clean out those little things <laughs> So this just pops right off. They thought of it already for me. So you can just wipe that down with the rag and not have to mess with all your Q-tips. There you go, magnetic. All right, let's go back into this master bathroom area. As I said earlier, this is a huge space. Definitely both people can get ready at the same time in here. And the medicine cabinet is ridiculous. Look at this, no dividers in here whatsoever. So <laughs> you can put a lot of products in there. Both uh, his and her sink, storage underneath here, and three big drawers. Back here we have your hanging closet. 
And it also is bigger than it looks because it's built back to the end here. You'll also notice in this closet you do have a safe and you can program your own code into that, carry some of your um, more important documents and items that you're going to take with you. But also all the way back on this side, you can of course take these out if you have more hanging items. And then this piece is the part of the table I was telling you that makes it into a bed. But I'm gonna move that out of the way so you can see down there, there's even more storage down there. You might get tired of me saying storage, but it's so crucial and it's so hard to come by in motorhomes. So really important if you've never had one before, that's why I keep pointing it out. We obviously have your toilet here, but this is very important. Um, Numar has, has added a emergency exit door. Um, this isn't really for going in and out, but it is, well, what I mean is on a normal basis. This is an emergency exit. So this opens up and there is a ladder here that drops down. You just pull this panel off and it can come out. Um, very easy to get down, but it makes it a lot safer if there was a fire or something to happen, that you're not trying to get through a tiny little window backwards, not seeing what you're able to do. This is just so much safer. And one of those things that Numar does that they don't have to do, because when people buy motorhomes, they don't necessarily think of this. Um, but they thought of it for you, and I love that they did it, because I always think, how is that 80-year-old woman going to get out that tiny little window? And I just, you know, have always thought about that, but they did it for us, so thank you, Numar. Such a great company. We do have another exhaust fan in here, and there are air conditioning uh, vents in here. They just couldn't put that facade in this bathroom because it's a little bit lifted, um, but this is the only place in the coach that you're going to see that. Um, over here, we have a huge shower. There is a fold-down shower seat. Um, great for shaving your legs or if you just needed to take a break in that really, really long hot shower that you're taking. <laughs> we also have the shower miser system in here. And what that does is it recirculates the water until it's warm enough to be usable. So you're gonna set the temperature that you want and when it becomes that temperature, that blue light will come on and it will say, okay, turn me on. So then you turn it on and the water comes out at just the right temperature. That's important in a motorhome because if you're not plugged into a water source, all your water is just going down the drain until it's warm enough. So what a great system to have. Over here, we do have your washer and dryer unit, Splendid. For those of you who have had an all-in-one unit, this is a totally different universe and it will make your life so much better, a lot more efficient, and you can actually pull stuff out mid-cycle, which you can't really do with an all-in-one unit. Plus, you can only put a tiny amount in those. So, I did want to show you too that we have divider doors throughout the coach. There was one at the bathroom and there is one here and that does lock closed as well. So privacy if you have guests. Also just to lock out the extra light from the front area. I think we're ready to go check out the front area, or I like to call the cockpit. You might notice that I have um, the passenger seat turned around, and that's just to show you that both the passenger and driver seats do turn around, so you can have a little bit larger living area up here. Um, great if you have guests over. Um, there is also a TV above uh, the passenger driver area, um, just if you wanted to watch two different games at the same time or something like that. It's not really for use when you're going down the road. Um, it's actually wired so that you can't do that. But I'm gonna turn this back around and then we'll be able to explore some of the things in the dash. I'm gonna close this door because it's about 15 degrees today. All right. You also may have noticed the porcelain tile floors in here. Um, these are a newer design this year and they're a little bit shiny, but they're a little bit matte too. 
And I like that they did that. They're a lot less slick than the just really shiny ones, which normally came in most motorhomes. Um, those can just be really hard for dogs, especially. Um, but also if my feet are wet, which they were earlier from the snow, um, it can be really slick. So this is a great option of an in-between, but a very modern look as well. Love that. Okay, I think we're ready to come into the driver area. Again, this is a 400 horsepower Cummins engine. And for those of you who aren't familiar with diesel pushers, the engine is in the back, so behind the bedroom. Um, so you're not gonna hear that as you're going down the road. You can actually have a really nice conversation or listen to music up here. Um, while you're driving. So super nice feature for those of you who have had um, the engine in the front um, in the past. You'll know it can get really hot up here when the engine's up here, but it especially can be very loud and there can be a lot of vibration. So this is living in luxury, I have to say. Um, so we are on a Spartan chassis. Sorry, that was the brake. And I just wanted to show you some of the settings here on the dash. Um, I'm gonna go home so we can see what home looks like. And then we can change all of these things according to our personal preferences. You can even change the colors and the way things are arranged up here. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the more important things. So right now you'll see we're on trip settings. I'm gonna go into that one because that's my favorite one. So Comfort Drive is my favorite thing that Numar does. Um, that is the, um, it's a system that takes over for you if it's windy or if you're pulling on the, on the steering wheel a lot because of road damage or anything like that. Um, it'll help keep you in the center of the lane. It also really helps when you're backing into a spot. So its goal, Comfort Drive, is to keep you centered and being centered, meaning in the center of the lane going straight, is gonna allow you to relax when you're driving. Because when you're doing this, when you're going down the road, especially if you're going on a long trip, you're gonna be exhausted at the end of the day, mentally and physically. Um, this takes over for you so you can let go and just literally you can just drive with a finger. I don't recommend doing it just because accidents, but it just makes this so easy. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. My personal experience has been that it is completely changes driving these as far as confidence and comfort. Um, and we do get all the other brands here. So I know what Comfort Drive and no Comfort Drive feels like. And it, I, I wouldn't buy anything without it, honestly. Um, so that's one thing. I'm sorry I get really excited about that one, but um, go back into this and we can change the other things that we've got going on here. Um, let's see where else we can go here. Um, we have mobile eye on this coach. And again, we'll go through all of this in the walkthrough period, but there's just some things I wanted to highlight. So the mobile eye system um, is going to be your lane. If you're departing your lane, it's going to alert you of that. Also, if you're getting too close to the car in front of you, it's going to alert you of that. It's not going to do any mitigation. It's going to set an alarm for you. And that's why it says volume here. So you can change that. You can turn it off, etc. But a really great thing to have on when you are a little bit sleepy in your driving. Or maybe it's like a treacherous road that you're on. Um, really great to have mobile. Eye. I would leave it on all the time just to be more mindful because this is a very large vehicle and you want to be safe. Um, of course, we have your phone controls here and your light controls, your wipers um, on here. And then over here, we have your cruise control setting. So that's just on a stick right here. Um, we do have the ability to adjust the steering wheel up and down. It also does go in and out. Uh, over here, your lights, etc. I don't think I need to get into that, but we do have heated side view mirrors and they're, they're electric, so they can be moved around there as well. This is your Allison transmission. 
then we have a battery boost, which is a great feature if your chassis battery is low and you can't get your engine to start, which I've definitely had happen before. You hold down your house battery, it will suck from the house batteries and get you started. Then once your chassis batteries are running, they're gonna recharge those house batteries while you're driving. So super great, not leave you stranded function there. Um, we have an air horn here, so you can sound like a truck driver um, or you can turn it off and just have your little Toyota horn. Um, we do have the ability to manually do the tag dump. This coach is sophisticated and will do it for you. Um, so you don't necessarily need it, but some people like having that control. Um, here's your engine brake on off, and then we have high, medium, and low on here. Um, right here we have your hydraulic um, leveling system, and that can be attached to Bluetooth as well, so you can do that when you're outside of the coach with your phone or device. Um, moving over here, we have, of course, your camera system, which is showing us our rear view right now. But we did option in the 360 Omni view camera system on this coach, which means that there were four additional cameras added. One in the front, one in the back, and two on either side of the coach, mid coach. So we would have automatically had standard side view cameras that are up here under the mirrors, and then we would have a backup camera as well. The Omni view lets you know who's trying to pass you on the freeway or if there's children around you or somebody trying to get into your stuff that you've got in your storage bays. All of that can be viewed from these cameras here. So lots of cameras. Um, it almost looks like um, you've got a, uh, someone hovering over you um, watching all sides at the same time. So you really get a much safer view um, going down the road. Um, we of course have navigation and serious radio capability, et cetera, on here. If you need more information, I'm happy to get that for you. Um, here we have your powered visors. This one's like your day shade in the back, but great for when it's really bright. It's also very reachable, so you're not having to look away while you're driving. If the sun starts getting in your eyes, it's really a safe way to do it, that it's right here. Boy, I was in a coach the other day that was not a Numar, and I'm telling you, there were buttons everywhere. They were here, 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 here. I mean, I would have been looking all over trying to find the switches for these things in this other coach, which I know there's engineers that figure all this stuff out, but this is safer. It just is. You're not distracted. You're not looking around. Oh, the sun's in my eyes. Where's that darn shade button? Well, it's right here within your arm's reach. Um, we also have overhead fans, which are for defrost features, high, medium, low. You can start your generator here. Um, something that I forgot to point out when we were at that panel back there though, is that we do have a gen set feature on here as well. So if your battery is getting low, you can set it so that it'll go on at a certain voltage. Um, or if you need your air conditioner to kick on, it will turn your generator on so that your air conditioner can function. So if you're leaving your pets in here or something like that and you're away. So auto gen start, big deal, um, really helpful in those situations. Um, we of course have the entry lock and then your 360 camera select. So that'll just swap between the camera view that you're looking at while you're driving down the road. And we're obviously not driving, so I can't show you that function right now. Um, little spot for your phone here and then a, just a couple little storage bays in here. Um, I forgot to point out that while this chair was turned around that it does have um, a footrest that pops up. Um, this side does as well. So you're not going to want to use that while you're driving, but when they're turned around, you can use that really nice footrest and lean these chairs back so they're more like a home um, seating arrangement. They're really comfortable too, and this fabric tends to hold up really well for those of you who are worried about that. We also have a bunch of power buttons on here, up, down, um, tilt, all kinds of different angles to make this super comfortable, but you can see where where you sit here, really, really comfortable. Um, and also on the passenger side, we do have a table that um, it's really handy for the passenger to have a sandwich or 
have a drink or work while you're going down the road. So really nice that they do this. And then it just tucks away really easily. Moves, moves back like that. So then it's totally out of your way. You also do have a phone charger here, uh, 110s and USBs. And then they have um, controls for the patio light map light which is just right above them and then the step cover the step cover is an electric cover that comes over these stairs and that really is just so that if anybody's walking here they don't fall accidentally thinking the floor is there or when you're sitting here and your feet are dangling it does feel weird so it's nice to be able to put that step cover out and be able to feel like there's a floor beneath you like you're not dangling um, so I, I do enjoy that quite a bit. Another thing that Numar does on the screen door, most screen doors, there's a screen there, right? Um, and that does disturb the visibility for the driver, but also for the passenger, their enjoyment of the driving. Um, so this, Numar makes this with a retractable screen. So this can be locked into place when you do need it, like you're going in and out and you don't want bugs in the coach, but you can also put it away when you are driving. Got it caught there. Um, so great feature there. I am going to go through the coach now and put the slides in so we can look outside and see all the storage and features out there. So give me a moment, but I do want you to see what this looks like when it's closed up. You can actually use the refrigerator and this bathroom here, um, no problem. So first slide I'm gonna bring in is the bed. I messed that bed up when I got up on there. <laughs> Easy to make it though. I'm going to say again, these videos are live. Um, so, and I don't rehearse and rehearse. They just are kind of a walkthrough that I would do if you came and saw me in person. So if I do miss something, please reach out to me. I have my email and phone number available. You can text me on that phone number um, or of course email me any questions that you have. I don't mean to leave things out but I don't always remember everything um, when I'm doing these live either. Um, also sometimes I make mistakes so feel free to let me know. You may have heard I just started the generator. I want to make sure that I have plenty of power to get these slides in. It's not good to let your batteries get too low. And I've been sitting here not plugged in and without the generator on. So just a little tip for you. All right, so we're totally in. And because these seats do move around, I pulled them out earlier. I'm gonna move them in a little bit so you can see that we have even more space. The other thing you can do is completely turn them sideways um, and that will give you even more space. But right here, this is how much room I have to walk through easily. Tons of room, I could even cook if I wanted to, which I don't ever really, but. <laughs> Getting back here, I'm not saying that it's all the room in the world, but you can definitely get to the bathroom. You can definitely get to the refrigerator in your pantry and open this up. So here's your pantry, totally accessible. I can also get to the back bathroom and crawl on the bed and take a nap if I really wanted to. So there are situations when you're traveling that you can't put all your slides out or sometimes any of your slides out. Um, if you're just at a rest stop and you just need to take a quick nap, um, a lot of times there's no room to put your slides out. So it's really important that you can get through here and use this space. 
All right, enough about that. I'm going to put my jacket on. We're going to head outside. There is a bunch of storage in these steps as well. I'll just show you real quick. But that goes all the way to my elbow, just for a frame of reference. And then this one has some too. So great place for your flip-flops, umbrellas, etc. So some of the things that you can't see on this coach, we do have four sun-free solar panels on here that we optioned in. We also have two Nova side awnings, and those are the fancy awnings. They were an upgrade, but that means the whole coach has awnings. You can probably see the two different parts there. Um, we also have slide toppers on all of our slides, which is gonna help keep rain, snow, and debris out of your coach when you bring your slides in. Um, you may have noticed we do have a door code here, and that's programmable so you can make it custom. Um, also a doorbell and that's used because you really can't hear people knocking on this really well insulated door when you're inside so doorbell is actually quite handy I know it seems silly but <laughs> um, this first bay here is where you could put a freezer outside um, we chose not to do it on this particular coach but it is wired for it so if you chose to do it it would be a very inexpensive addition um, the wiring is of course the most expensive part but we left this open for somebody who didn't really care for that um, to do whichever they choose. Really easy to close doors this year. That was a new upgrade that Numar did. Um, before I close this one though, I want you to see how much insulation is in there. It's quite a bit. So, and then also under the coach, the insulation stops right here. So. I don't know if I can give you a good gauge there, but it's almost three inches. Why does that matter under your coach? Well, let's say you're somewhere really cold, you're driving through Minnesota, or you're parked somewhere at a ski resort. Um, all of your stuff in your basement, including your water bays, et cetera, can freeze. Um, we don't want that to happen. Um, that's one of the most expensive repairs you can have. Um, of course, if you kept your hydronic heating system going, um, this whole basement is going to be heated and stay heated and that's partly because of the insulation but just having the unit down here really helps but if you forgot to turn it on um, you could have some issues without having that good of insulation so again Numar overbuilding for things that people can't really see I have to point that out to you because you can't really see under there but they do that because they care and they want to make the best product out there um, we do have, of course, these slide out trays, really, really handy to get into the stuff in the middle of the coach. Um, I just imagine trying to lift big uh, totes from the middle of the coach, put your back out, that kind of ruins your trip. <laughs> so another thing that we have to talk about when we talk about a Numar is the Star Foundation. So what that is, is Every manufacturer buys the chassis from the respective chassis manufacturers. Spartan or Freightliner are, are the main ones right now. So they get this kind of naked chassis, which is just rails with tires and an engine and steering wheel and stuff like that. And then they build all this stuff. So this is what's different about every coach. Newmar also builds a structural foundation on the chassis, which makes a world of difference driving down the road. So more stability. Um, it keeps it a lot quieter and it keeps it from doing the bend and twist on the road, which is going to pop your tiles, break your tiles and mess with your cabinetry, meaning your cabinets are doing this all the time. They're going to start falling out and sagging in some of the lesser brands. That doesn't happen in Numars. We get them traded in after years and years of use and they're still in almost as good a shape as when they were sold. They just hold up and that's what you're paying for in the Numar, the quality. Um, let me show you that star foundation just so you can get your eyes on what I'm talking about. So this is your chassis rail. So this is how it comes. And then Numar welds all of this structure 
to it. So you can see that your motorhome's not sitting on the chassis rail for one thing. It's lifted, which makes a big difference in vibration and noise and the comfort of your drive. But also you've got all this structural integrity that's been added and it does make a difference. Again, we have to drive all the brands that get traded in and this is the best, it just is. Um, we also have insulation here above that chassis rail, above the floor of the motorhome. So you're not gonna be getting cold from down here or heat from down here going up into your motorhome. All right. We do have an outside TV here, Samsung with a Bose soundbar. Really great for hanging out outside and starting a campfire, like a drive-in movie. And then we have a half tray on this one so that you can get to the back there. But there is um, there are things on the other side that block so we can't do a full, full one. Um, we do have your vacuum um, filter and things like that down here. But also you can plug in your vacuum components, which are in that tray right there, and vacuum out your basement um, carpet as well. Keep it nice and neat down here. This right here is one of those um, 360 degree cameras I was talking about. Um, just to point that out, it's definitely not in the same spot as the other ones, mid coach. Um, and then of course the front and back have additional ones as well. This one is where your water bay is, so there's really not room, or excuse me, water tank. Um, there's not really room to have a full storage bay, but they did make it um, as much as they could into a tool hanging place or a place to put extra duff fluid, etc. Whoops. And we've got your really nice big Michelin tires. They don't skimp on that either. Back here, we've got your chassis batteries and your air dryer system. Something Spartan does uh, different is they have your tow system pretty much set up on the chassis side, so you don't have to have all that um, added after, um, you know, after market. So really nice that they have that there. Um, we also have your traditional backup camera is at the top there. And this is part of that 360 camera system there. Again, this is a 400 horsepower Cummins engine. Over on this side, just a little bit of storage. Of course, lit bays. This is where your DEF fluid goes. And you need to fill your DEF about every three times, or every third time you fill up your fuel tank. So, and it's not nearly as big as your fuel tank is. It's like 13, 14 gallons, depending on the coach. And I can get those specs to you. That's something I didn't write down today, but happy to get it for you. This little place is a place to put your black hose. The reason you want to do that is because it's icky, gross. You don't want to be having it in here with any of your other stuff. I know a lot of people will buy a little Rubbermaid bin to stick it in just to have it separate, but they actually built a place for it to go um, so it's not contaminating any of your other stuff. Um, this is your water bay, and they started doing this on a stainless steel. The reason they do that is because it used to be plastic and these would rub off or there would be stickers and they would peel off over time or fade. Um, these aren't going to do that. So even if you resell this or you own this for 20 years, you're going to still be able to see exactly what's what and how to use it. Um, you do have your low point drains here. You have an external shower. The blue fluid in that showering unit is just winterizing because again, it's really cold here right now. Um, this is one of the best things if you've never seen this before or don't have this on your existing motorhome a power rewind reel it'll change your life i'm not kidding you the other day it snowed here pretty good and we had to go and unplug every one of these motorhomes to move them so we could shovel and these new mars with these power 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 cords basically this is a 50 amp cord they're powered and we weren't having to mess with all the snow and ice on our hands it just did it for us 
um, and just sucks them, sucks them right in really easy. You just have to kind of sit here and guide it. You don't really have to with these frozen um, cords. It made such a difference for us um, trying to get these things cleaned up and moved around. Um, we do have a surge protector with a transfer switch already built in here. And of course, a light in here. Also have a place to put t cable if you had it at the park you're staying at. This is your hydronic heating system slash furnace system that we talked about earlier. It's the Chinook, which is a higher level than you get in some other ones. But a really nice feature. Um, for those of you who are fami familiar with AquaHot, it's pretty much the same thing, but you have to do less maintenance on the Oasis brand and it's cleaner burning for the environment. So that's that's what they tout and that's um, what that's supposed to be as far as being different. This is just the other side of the of uh, the, the bay that we already looked at. Oops. Other side of that slide out tray I showed you, but we do have extra tiles on here in case you were to break one. Um, you can keep those through the years and just make sure your motorhome's looking tip top shape. And then here are your house batteries. Um, these are on a pull out tray. They do put a locking mechanism in here so they're not just sliding around. Um, but deep cycle, eight of them in there. Plenty of power. People get really nervous about this being an all electric coach, but I promise you, you've got plenty of power in here to sustain all that. We have those four solar panels. We've got an 8,000 kilowatt um, Cummins Onan diesel generator. Um, and then we've got these deep cycle batteries. It's just, it's plenty of power. Um, and if your batteries happen to get low for whatever reason, you're in a shady area or whatever, you can start your engine um, for like 45 minutes or your generator and that will get your batteries back to full capacity. So um, don't be nervous about that. It is the way of the future and we're all gonna have to get used to it if we're gonna keep motorhoming. So um, over here, just I have the generator running just for the slides, as I said earlier. Um, of course, we've got all your fuses here and the access to the generator, which is in the front cap. Um, side view cameras are down low here. And then on the front, we of course have that, that extra one up there for that 360 camera that I was talking about. Um, I really hope I covered everything, but if I missed anything that's important to you, please reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to help. Um, you can text or call me at this number or email me anytime. I'm happy to get you a spec sheet, pricing, um, or any more information on how these are built or anything else you want to know. We do carry the full line of Numars here all the way up to King Air and the Super C line as well. So I'm happy to help you with any of those products. Um, just reach out. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a very blessed new year.